Good morning. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Mine was pretty busy, it was pretty hectic, but it was still litty. Starting off the week on Monday, of course, working from home. I am just here on my laptop, just doing what I gotta do for this uh, startup. I was actually on Amazon maybe a couple of hours ago and I ended up getting like a, a desk for myself. I have been wanting to get rid of this bistro table for such a long time and once I get the desk I am going to like give this up on offer up I'm not charging for the table I'm just like here you want it you take it but I don't want to just like throw it away because it's still a really good cute little table this week on the agenda I got a couple of things planned one of them I think I'm supposed to go to a beauty blender event on Wednesday or Thursday now I know there's a lot of controversy about beauty blender right now but if anything I'll probably just get a free beauty blender in the process because I really do love the beauty blenders for like applying foundations and setting my face and all that jazz oh another thing that I have been meaning to mention to you guys is that I am actually in the July issue of Essence magazine so if you see Janet Jackson's lovely face on Essence just know that I am in the magazine me and four other ladies when we went to Paris in February it was during fashion week we took some photos by Montmartre and girl I'm in I'm in it girl this is the section so I'm around near page 172 and this is the grab your girls and go feature so you know, they talk about all the places that these ladies have been. Look at all of these beautiful ladies. Oh, I remember this one. One of my homies, a thick girl's closet. She actually went to Ghana with um, Gorgeous and Grey. Gorgeous and Grey is right there. And where is Thick Girl's Closet? Where is she? Oh, she's right up here. Thick Girl's Closet is right up here. You can barely see it. Yes, here we are. We went to Paris. That's me right there with my weird face. I'm not sure what I was doing, but uh, look, we are, we are Liddy. Look at us. I was so joyful here. No, actually, I wasn't joyful. I was actually freezing. My feet were frozen, okay? Frozen. I don't know how Ijama survived like this, but girl, I was done. Definitely cop yours before it is gone. Ah! As you can imagine, I am just so overjoyed at being featured on Essence. Hopefully, this will not be the last time. In terms of my hair, I took out all of the Havana twists and I clarified using apple cider vinegar. I also clarified using shampoo because I did have a lot of buildup, so I used the Jane Carter shampoo i deep conditioned with the camille rose naturals deep conditioner and i went under the steamer for about 15 to 20 minutes i rinsed it off and then i applied the shea moisture leave-in conditioner and just put my hair up in two strand twists right now i pinned my hair back see here but like yeah i pinned my hair back and i absolutely love this bonnet it just you know it keeps everything in there and my skin is looking oh so glowy today. I'm actually using the OG skincare line. Remember last week when I went to the event, I started using their products and I'm thinking about doing a 30 day test. Basically trying out the products for 30 days, taking photos and seeing if there's any difference in my skin. Hey y'all. It is Tuesday and you know I thought you know this week is gonna be so much more fun and popping but apparently it's not. I stayed home all day I worked because you know I have to have internet in order for me to do the work that I need to do so I stayed at home. I feel like when I stay at home for a very long time for like days and then it's time for me to finally go outside. I'm constantly psyching myself out to not go outside. Does anyone else feel that way? I kind of feel like I haven't had interactions with people, like people in the physical sense and like, you know, just like talking in person. And it's just like, how do I even talk to people, you know? This is my life now. Um, I'm not complaining because I am saving 
quite a lot of money on transportation and things like that. Although I did end up ordering food, which there was really no need for me to do, girl. Girl, there was no need. I ended up buying food out. Look, I'm not proud of it, but you know, it was great. Like the food was delicious. I'm not even going front on that too. I just posted up a video and now I'm going to try and market myself. I see on my on my my YouTube app on my phone that YouTube has this thing now where they're trying to be like Instagram stories. Have you seen that? I've only seen one YouTube story and it was from Brilliant Beauty from Jody. And I'm trying to figure out how the hell do I do that? Because I'm trying to get on the bandwagon too, sis. Look, I ain't got nothing else planned today. I'm gonna edit another video. I'm going to probably cook. Probably gonna look at this magazine that Alan got me. I'm just gonna call it a night, I guess. It's only six o'clock. What am I calling a night for, sis? I don't even know. Currently at the Beauty Blender pop-up shop. Hopefully I can find a foundation that doesn't make me look like an Oompa Loompa. Foundations on this side are ready. You can go ahead. This is natural daylight. I'm wearing 4.4. No filter. Do we like? Does it match the chest? Or not? Nah? I definitely need to color correct, but do we like the foundation? See how this foundation looks on my And I got a um, immunity booster, paper straws. Can we, can we, can we acknowledge that that's a good paper straws? Well, currently I have on the Beauty Blender Foundation. How does it look? I feel like I need to color correct here, um, but for the most part it does match my chest. Currently at my sister's house, babysitting the little ones, the seedlings, and they are absolutely Paying me, no mind. I guess that's like, that's how technology gets to you, you know? Like you're constantly in front of some sort of screen. Whether it be a computer screen, a camera screen, a Kindle screen. They're literally not paying me any mind. Say hi, Sophie. Say hi, YouTube. Okay, don't talk with your mouthful, okay? Say hi, Caleb. All right, they see it. They okay. See? Do you see? But chew your food. Chew your food, though. You're watching Barney. You know, I used to watch Barney when I was your age. What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? She don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you win. All right, it is Saturday. I'm supposed to leave the house now, but to be honest with you, I am feeling a bit anxious. I don't even know why. It's just that I... <laughs> I don't even know why y'all. I've always been like this and I have to go to Randall's Island Park. I've never been to Randall's Island before. Born and raised in New York City and I've never been to all these places that you're supposed to go to. I, have, I haven't even been to Ellis Island y'all. Right now we have to figure out how to get out the house. It's not even that I'm even like dressed scandal scandalously. You know, I'm wearing this vest, I'm wearing this shirt, I'm wearing some shorts, you know? 
I'm not showing any, any, anything, anything bad. I don't have any Batty Rider shorts on. For some reason, for some blasted reason, I'm pulling, I'm keeping myself inside. I'm keeping myself inside. Figuratively and literally. Okay, yes, that is my mop. Say hello to my mop, which I... I took it out for the sole purpose of mopping and I never even got around to it. But yo, I know I have to leave the house today because girl, they are paying me to like go to Panorama VIP. <sighs> okay. I just have to get out of my own head and get my ish together. That's it. It also sucks that I didn't get to do my nails today. Really wanted it to be white. Maybe if I take an Uber to the city at least. Okay, I gotta figure this out. I'll let you know how I get there. Let's go. So, it's the day after Panorama, and I'm exhausted, like literally my body, I was done. The, I think Janet's performance ended at 11, I 
finally got home maybe around 1 32 o'clock my shoes are ruined i mean they've been ruined but they are completely ruined uh the night before saturday night's concert it was raining and so the grass was muddy it was just a nightmare to walk on that damn thing i still had a good time i actually met terry there if you guys have been longtime followers of mine you know who terry is terry and sean they created a show called love at first night they have a i guess production company i want to call it called slay tv and they're doing really big things they're doing really big things and i got to meet up with terry i didn't even know he was going to be there but i'm glad i found a familiar face to hang out with i got to watch scissor perform i got to watch janet jackson perform now i've never seen janet jackson in concert before but she killed it she absolutely killed it i mean by the time i was done at this concert the heels of my feet started to hurt my knees hurt my lower back hurt i was just done i was done d-o-n-e done it's so interesting to think that i was in the same vicinity as janet jackson i mean janet jackson is magic in her own right but the fact that she is michael jackson's sister i it just added a little something extra to it i'm I'm a huge fan of Michael Jackson's work and like I just growing up I really thought he was magic you know like him doing the moonwalk him doing all these really cool things in his music videos he definitely pushed the bar and like I was always in awe of him and for me to be in the same room as Miss Jackson I'm spending the rest of the day at home got my hair bonnet on I started working on revamping the bedroom space i bought some chrome shelving units so i removed the desk in my room the desk that used to house my desktop my desktop is now in the dining room area we no longer have a dining room table now and i'm just trying to get this area put together i'm trying to get my room put together my chair is coming monday we're getting a new couch I am so sick of this couch there's like so this couch is like fake leather right which is fine but like I don't know why it end up deteriorating the way it did but what it's doing is that the it's peeling and like all these little black things from the couch are coming off now I'm sure I could have just bought a sofa cover and just be done with it but i didn't know if it was going to be the proper size and i really just to be honest with you i just hate this couch i mean it's not very functional and sometimes i have my mom stay here sometimes joan stays here sometimes curvin's my little brother stays here and i want them to have a place that they can sleep sleep so we end up ordering a futon sofa so it looks very modern there's a lot of good reviews of it on amazon it's a futon so you can prop it up like a couch but you can also lay it down like a bed like a proper bed it takes up less space and it's definitely more functional which i'm really all about now like i'm all about functionality if you guys want to see like a updated home tour type thing definitely let me know i'll be sure to get that out to you but this is a little sneak peek of my little desk situation don't mind alan's porch we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that in this video i actually also wanted to announce the giveaway winners for the video that i did about two weeks ago where i announced that i was having a giveaway for my 84 or 85 thousand subscribers and there are three winners to this giveaway and i'm going to announce them now the first winner is seraphim lady hopefully i'm pronouncing your name right sis the next winner is the january issue congratulations girl the final winner is miss liberian lady congratulations congratulations to all the winners so seraphim January issue 
and Miss Liberian Lady, congratulations. Uh, I will definitely be sure to give you a message. I'll hit you up with a message and I need you to respond as quickly as possible so I can get to your prizes. Now, for everyone else that entered, thank you so much for entering the giveaway. Um, there'll be plenty more in the future. I'm trying to do it with every 5,000 marks. So the next giveaway will be at 90,000. So if you can get me to 90,000 real quick, that'd be great. I would appreciate it if you share my videos if you like these videos and comment because I mean sometimes I'm not really seeing the engagement there and it's so crazy I keep saying this but like I have 85,000 subscribers or at least that's what YouTube says but at the same time I'm not getting the engagement that comes with those 85,000 subscribers so I mean, I would really appreciate it if you shared these videos, if you comment, if you like. I would really, really appreciate that. And I'll definitely try to do some more vlogs if you want. I have seen all of your suggestions. Don't worry, tech videos are coming back. Hopefully this week, Tuesday. If you haven't noticed, I've been posting Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. Let me know if you like that schedule. If you don't, I'll be sure to rearrange some things around. But... Um, for the most part, that's what I've been doing. And if it's not Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, it's going to be Sundays and Thursdays. So definitely keep it locked here on my channel to find out when I get a new video out. And that is all for this video today. Um, I want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting me and subscribing, of course. Hopefully you stay tuned for the next vlog. I really don't know what's going on next week. But I guess we'll just have to find out. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Out.